Some very expensive new equipment is now flying over Austin on board Starflight helicopters. It's designed to make the air ambulances safer to use, especially at night. The Night Beat Shelton Green live now in Northeast Austin with an exclusive look at how it works. Shelton? Well, Tyler, behind me is one of the two Starflight helicopters. Each averages about four to five flights a day. Well, now pilots have a new way of keeping themselves and their patients safer. Rescue is in position. And hoist down. In April, Starflight Rescue, two men trapped in a pickup out of a swollen Lampasas River. So stay on hook. Roger that. The same month, Starflight performed an aerial attack on a quick-moving brush fire in Lake Wade. First responders now have a new tool to help avoid helicopter crashes. And you can see it shows the obstructions that's uh, in red. That's a hazard to where we are. This $26,000 piece of equipment about the size of a paperback book is called Helicopter Terrain Alert and Warning System. And what it's designed to do is to detect and alert the pilots of any obstruction or terrain that may affect the aircraft's flight path. The terrain alert and warning system uses GPS to identify obstructions like towers or natural obstacles 100 feet tall. Before, pilots used visual flight techniques and night vision goggles. So it allowed us to see the terrain and the obstruction. So this is just an added safety feature that's good for both day and night flights. The National Transportation Safety Board tells KVU that 23 people died in 13 medical helicopter crashes in 2008, a dramatic increase from previous years. One of the victims was Stephanie Waters, a Cedar Park paramedic, one of four people who died when a medical helicopter crashed last June near Huntsville. Ever since I was just 12 years old, I wanted to be a paramedic, and she was that, and she saw that, and I saw her passion, and I wanted to be like her. This spring, the increase in medical chopper crashes prompted the NTSB to recommend terrain alert warning systems for all the nation's medical helicopters. But the cost of the equipment for the safety enhancement that it provides for the aircraft justifies the cost. Now, the new technology works both day and night, but I'm told it's much more dramatic at night. So in just a few moments, we're going to go up in star flight, and we'll show you how the new system works at night, tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. We're live in Northeast Austin, Shelton Green, KV News Night Beat.